guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to make a worm tower. And this is what you need. I've already done part of it because drilling holes in things is not super exciting. Um, so I had my husband drill the holes in the bottom of the 4 inch pipe here. And he also cut an inch off the end to make a cap. Here's some regular heavy duty window screen. And this is a coupling on there. All right. And as you can see, I've got my glue gun out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the screen to the bottom of this little inset for the cap. And then we will be ready to roll. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick little bead. And it doesn't have to be super perfect. But you just have to make a, a little bead around this so that the screen gets good contact with the plastic. And then stick it on there. Not for too long or otherwise you will stick to your cardboard. And if you feel like there's some that didn't go all the way through, you can go ahead and do it on this side as well. This is going to be on the inside, so you're not going to see this at all. So it's not a matter of cosmetics. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the spare parts a little bit here. Just so there's not too much bulk taking up inside of the ring. So I'm going to press that down a little bit. Just, you know, hot glue is hot. I'm trying not to touch it with my fingers when it's super hot. And there you go. Looks like, check it a little bit. Not great still. I think this is just regular glue. I do have Gorilla Glue glue sticks that probably would have been better, but I don't know where they are right now. Middle of... Uh, the season is, the growing season is not typically the time where I do crafts. So then this fits inside of here, or will, with the help of a hammer. Okay, you don't need to see the rest of that, but you get the point. I'm going to beat on this until it fits. Alright guys, here we are. It is almost the 1st of August, and I tore out all of my garlic and it's just been a repository for all of my potted vegetables and fruit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these and then I'm going to install the worm tower in here all right so as you can see the only thing that's left in this is some peppers that are planted in the ground and I am going to just put the worm tower in a little bit offset so hold on a second and I'm going to dig a hole All right, now you can see I've dug a hole about 10 inches deep, give or take. And I'm going to put the end of the pipe that has the holes in it down against the soil. Then we're just going to backfill all the soil, and make sure everything's covered up. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some bedding and some food that would naturally occur around my garden, and then I'm going to go grab some worms. All right, I'm back. I have some pretty dried out grass clippings, and then I had been baiting the worms in one of my bins with some banana, so they're going to get the worms and the banana as well. So let me move this over here, show you what I'm going to do. Just going to put some of the grass in there, and then the banana with the worms. A little bit more grass, and a little bit more worms. 
Now I'm pretty sure I already have quite a few. Get in there, little guy. Quite a few in here already just from me using castings, but I just wanted to make sure, just in case, that I was getting the system off to a good start. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to take this pre-made cap with the screen, um, give you a little better picture of it. If you have Menards, here's the barcode sticker for it, in case you want to look for it. It's a four inch coupling thing. And then we're just going to lightly put that on top of there. I'm not going to hammer that down because I'm going to want to be able to put more things in there so that I can just rock this off. Oh look, there's dead leaves and I can put those in there as well and keep my garden tidy and also be feeding the worms at the same time, which is one of the reasons to have a worm bin in the middle of your garden. So if, you know, if the birds get into a tomato or a pepper or something, you don't want to just let it sit there and become an attractant. You can take it and throw it in the bin. All right, I'm going to put the cap on here, and then I'm actually going to water this in so that it makes good contact with the soil and also so the worms and the media can go ahead and get commingled together and start their own little ecosystem right here. I don't suppose you have to have it this tall out of the ground, um, but I usually have mulch and whatnot on top of here too. But in, according to the people who have done this before me, they say that this is a kind of a cooling mechanism so the worms don't get too hot living out here in the weather uh, here in Illinois. It's been like 100 degrees and raining every other day. It's been a little crazy for July. But uh, I figured since I'm going to have already ripped out all of my garlic in this bed, I'm going to replant with some maybe carrots and radishes. And so I thought it'd be a good time before I install those to install my worm tower. All right, let me go grab some water and then You'll see it when it's all finished. I know some people are going to say, oh, the, you know, the rain will be too much in you know, combination with everything else. But remember, there's no bottom on this. It'll go straight through. So right now, I'm just getting everybody settled in in contact with the soil and then making sure all the soil that I've mounded up around this stays nice and firm and this doesn't blow over in a wind. Alright guys, if you like this video, give me a muddy thumbs up, and if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, everybody have a good day.